The super chat, uh, real Jake Paul again. Uh, what's a good first watch for someone making around 100k? I need to step up my game. Probably, well, if you can get your hands on it, a Submariner, you can't ever go wrong. The resale value is really good. Yep. If you're in the 100, he said how much? 100,000? 100,000 a year, I'm guessing. Yeah, if you can get yourself like just a stainless steel Submariner. I think the Submariner, because you basically want to have a nice, like, uh, either a 40 or a 41 millimeter. That's the that's the guy watches. Yeah. You probably, unless you, and if you're a smaller guy, a 36 would work out. So an Oyster Perpetual 36 with a nice color. Um, um, what's his name? Uh, Myron has the red one and stuff. Same one LeBron has. Those are really, if you can actually get some of the colored ones, those are really nice. But you basically want stainless steel. Classic. Oyster, oyster like, yeah. Jubilee, timeless. Yeah, timeless and stuff. But basically, you have a... You have the, you know, this is the classic, this is the oyster chain right here, which is just the big links, or, or a Jubilee, which is like three little links in every link. It's like, so it's like the, ju the Jubilee fits much better on the wrist and stuff, but basically on these, um, you want stainless steel because if you're walking around and you, you it, they're super scratch resistant, you basically, you're not going to fuck them up, basically, right? And you, you want a nice watch. So I literally, if you can't, whatever, whatever Submariner you can get, beautiful. That's what I'd recommend to you guys. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Cool. Uh, material goods will never amount to a life where you can do whatever you want. Yeah, dude, but that's also cope. That's cope, too. Bro, if you're really living out here, bro, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, if, 